name is Stevie Crawford and by day I'm a real estate broker. By night, I'm a street photographer and a filmmaker with a passion for travel. So this video was filmed during the spring months of March and April 2018 in Tokyo, Japan. One of my absolute favorite places on the planet to travel to. In this episode, I explore two highly recommended spots, Tokyo Photographic Arts Museum and the very cool Wakol Art Center, otherwise known as Spiral, in the Ayoma district of Tokyo. I also share with you a secret spot for one of the best udon experience this mouth has ever tasted. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to the right. Leave a comment, leave a like. Would love to hear your feedback. Would love to hear what your travel experiences are in Tokyo, Japan. Follow me on Instagram at Stevie the Wanderer. Hope you enjoy the video. Talk soon. <laughs> So my first stop was at the Spiral Building, otherwise known as the Wakol Art Center in Tokyo's Ayoma District. Designed in 1985 by famed architect Fumiko Maki, this unique multi-purpose structure includes art gallery space, shops, restaurants and bars. For me though, a coffee and tea lover, one of the main pull factors was the tea options available in a few of the stores. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to secure reservations for this tea shop in particular, so I had to settle with just a bird's eye view from the outside. One of the things that really stood out for me was this calm, zen-like theme that you felt down to the design of the product displays. Even though I was technically inside of a retail store, Items for sale didn't speak as loudly as the artistic expression in how they're presented. I'm not a shopper. Matter of fact, it's fair to say it's something I can't stand doing. <laughs> but here I was, drawn in and seduced by the layout and product displays only in Tokyo. Soft or soggy. 
Everything is just done to almost perfection now. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm no udon expert. But, darn it, I know good food when I taste it. And this ranks up there highly as good food. So, what? That was just amazing. Now the one problem is I'm way too full. <laughs> I'm not used to having this much food for breakfast, but this probably comes down to the best udon this mouth has tasted anywhere. If you're into photography, then visiting the Tokyo Photographic Art Museum is an absolute must. Most exhibitions are based on a given theme and are not usually devoted to any single photographer. So, depending on when you go, you can enjoy a mixed variety of photography goodies offered on each floor. Filming is not permitted, even with an iPhone, as I discovered soon after snapping these last few scenes. Outside the museum, you can explore the Yebisu Garden Place, which is a shopping and cultural center known for its concentration of restaurants, izakayas, and ramen shops. As I was here during the cherry blossom season, walking by these colorful floral displays was a nice compliment to the photography exhibition I had just seen. As they say, all things must come to an end, and after an early morning start to the day, I felt it was time to head back and plan tomorrow's adventures. Talk soon.